What's your response to what's taken place overnight? Her, it's the gut reaction, kind of, but it was some ways to be expected that the Israelis would carry out some action. Nobody believed that it would be at the scale that they've done this murderous attack in international uh, oceans. Uh, and kind of, we now have 15 people dead because of the piracy and the murderous actions of the Israelis. Um, I would have liked to have been with the flotilla, I would have lo lo loved to have been there in solidarity with them. I, I was blocked by the Cypriot authorities, um, so I'm here in Ireland in, in solidarity with those who are on the flotilla and also with the Palestinian people who are suffering, which is the intent of the flotilla was to bring aid to them. What do you think the government's response should be now to what's taking place? Well, I think the, the, the government needs to take firm action. It needs to demand that uh, is, uh, Israel, the European uh, preferential trade agreement with Israel be ended. It needs uh, to contemplate what action it can take in terms of the OECD, which it allowed Israel to sign up to only two weeks ago. And it also needs to discourage uh, all Irish companies uh, from investing in, in, in Israel, in particular the likes of Cement Rollstone, who are building a separation wall in Palestine uh, as, as we speak. But there are other things there. There needs to be EU sanctions, there needs to be sanctions take, taken by this government against the Israeli authorities and against, and against uh, Israeli interests in Ireland. Well, the attack on the flotilla is just the latest episode in Israeli disregard for international law. The people of Gaza have been under siege now for years. They rely on aid. The flotilla was a peaceful mission carrying thousands of tons of aid to the, people, the Palestinian people. And the Israelis have used heavy-handed bullying tactics yet again. There have been fatalities. People have lost their lives. There's been an attack on a humanitarian effort. Uh, and it seems that the Israeli administration will once again try to excuse the inexcusable. Uh, so we're here with our letter of protest. We want Israel to understand full well the view of the Irish people on these matters and we want our government to act. Micheál Martin and the government need to take strong action on these matters. There are ways that pressure can be put on Israel. The government knows that and they now need to use that influence to best effect.